Hello. <laughs> Welcome. We'll just sit here. I didn't know if it started. <laughs> Hi. I was going cross-eyed so I couldn't see what she was doing. She keeps reading before she introduces what the day is. Sorry. It's pasta day. I don't want to show it to you because I think we've already had pasta day, but, but you know she, what? We don't care. We'll do whatever we feel like. So we are doing and a random pasta day piece of again. cheese. Random piece of cheese. We love cheese. We love it. That's why we're not vegan. Sorry, vegan people. True story. Okay. They will have some awesome vegan options though that taste good. Like my protein powder that's vegan. Mm. It is good. And I add so it to good. milk. Milk. Yum, like yummy. I add it to milk that's not vegan. Vegan protein powder, peanut butter, chocolate, milk. So, how's your day going today? Tell us. Mm -hmm. So today is pasta day. We've already done a pasta day. But like we said, we don't care. Why did you give me... No, you... I don't want... I oh, yeah, spoons. I didn't mean to. You're right. Evil! Oh, she doesn't like spoons for some reason because she likes being super inefficient. That's all. Hey. One time. One time? I went to a frozen custard place with this frozen group custard. of guy friends. We got... A huge monstrosity of frozen custard <clears throat> with like my favorite things. Chocolate custard, number These one. These are a few of my favorite things. Chocolate custard with cocoa nut. Now I'm feeling glad. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so it was like chocolate, coconut, Chocolate custard and then coconut and then like nuts and stuff like that. So it was like super yummy. So we're eating with this plastic spoon, okay? And we're eating and we're passing it back yeah. and forth to each other. You're eating? Yeah. <laughs> and we, and, and so on one of the spoonfuls, I like bring it out of my mouth and I'm just like, why is there red stuff on this spoon? And I was just like, maybe they put like some cherry syrup and they didn't mean to. So I put it back in the cup and I pass it on. And so then the it's gonna be gross, isn't it? So then they, they they kept on eating and the next time it got to me, I saw it again. And I was like, so I licked my lips and I tasted blood. So it wasn't like a lot of blood, and we oh, finished geez. off the cup and That's I told big. them about it. So I told them and they were just like, no way, now we're blood brothers. <laughs> <laughs> Except for, I mean, I'm a sister, but whatever. Where we were buddies, and so it was just like. That's gross. I can't so, believe you just told that story. I want to throw up. So I didn't mean to. So she I, sits there and she hates it. She thinks it's crazy that I don't like spoons, but it was like the edges of the spoon like sliced my lips open. That's so, gross. if you ever see me eat with a spoon and I turn it upside down every time, it's because, like, there are, like, small scars there. And it's, like, it's still, like, it, it's a little bit painful to eat with a spoon. Any yeah. spoon! I was wondering where you were going with this. I was like, what does this have to do with anything? Any spoon! It, it, like, it, it digs into my lips right here, and it's painful! Dude. And so, they're all like, why don't you like spoons? Look at this spoon. <laughs> so, yeah, spoons are great. As long as... No sharpness. None. Okay, well, it There's will cut into mine. I have scars. It, like, sliced Scar my Scar tissue is open. harder than normal skin. You know that, right? Okay. But it also caused, it can cause pain if it was cut deep enough. It was cut pretty deep. Look at this. Watch. <gasps> so, if I turn the spoon upside so down, spoons are not evil weird. if you turn them upside down. They're only evil if the rest of the population <laughs> doesn't know. That spoons are bad for your health. Hey, if you talk to those guys, the, now we're blood brothers. That's so gross. I'm sorry yeah. you had to still hear that story. <laughs> they weren't scared. So, they adored me. They thought I was awesome. So, it's because you're... Whatever. Anyway. So, um... Random story for you. Yeah. Other thing that we're going to talk about today, let me check and see what we're going to talk about today. <clears throat> this we're going to talk about free thought. My free thought is that spoons are evil. 
I have lots of free thoughts that Don't. are pretty involuntary most of the time. <laughs> People are just like, make some comment. It couldn't even, it might not even be directed to you, meaning us. When you have ADHD like we do, you have lots of free thoughts. That's pretty much what your entire mind does. Oh, well, I thought you were talking about like three, like, bad thief. Like, now I'm free! Free thinking! I'm freaking Jim. <laughs> I don't know what song you're singing. No, the background. Oh. The, no, I was like, I thought. <laughs> no, I was singing them. <laughs> you were delayed a little bit. That's because I was trying to swallow my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't talk to me like this most of the time. <clears throat> she doesn't talk to me like that in that same way ever. That was sarcasm in case you're <laughs> deaf to sarcasm. <laughs> She, that's pretty much how she talks to me all the time. I call this abuse. Emotional abuse. Unless verbal, it's verbal unless abuse. Unless it's worse coming from her just because she doesn't do it on the screen. Well, actually, she does. She has it more. The verbal abuse. Well, I don't crap. take this insolence. I don't know if that's a word. I don't know crap. Anyway. So, I was thinking like free, like. Well, not for money. Have to say anything like any other day. Who cares? Okay. Good. We give our thoughts for free. Like somebody in the in the supermarket could just like talk out loud to themselves and say something like, "Oh, maybe I should try this," and we'll be like, "No, don't do it!" And we'll like tell them everything about it that they ever never wanted to know. Mm -hmm. I've never done that before. Free Although thoughts. here's a fun another fun story. One time. So I don't actually pay attention attention to what it says under nutritional facts. I skip that part, and underneath it, there's this list of things called ingredients. Okay? Mm. Okay, for all these people who don't know that. So, mm. nutritional facts, pretty much are obsolete. I mean, yeah, you can gather information like how much protein it has and how much sugar it has, calories. Anyway, we're not going to get into this because that could be controversial. So anyway, so I'm standing there looking at these granola bars before I was gluten free. This was a really long time ago. So it was like 11 o'clock at night. That's when I did my grocery shopping at this 24 hour open grocery store. Um, so that I didn't have to deal with all the people, but instead I had to deal with the forklifts driving around delivering the food to the aisles. Anyway, so I'm standing there in the cereal aisle looking at this granola bar, looking for, and at the time this was what I knew to look for, high fructose corn syrup and partially hydrogenated oil. Yeah, or as some people call it, fructose. Fructose. Like my, some of my biology teachers, they're all like, and so this plant takes the sucrose and turns it into fructose, and I'm all like, fructose, fruit cake. Uh, anyway. <laughs> so those were the two things I knew at the time to look for, which, you know, now I know better like more ingredients to look for that are bad for you. But that's besides the point. So I was looking for high fructose corn syrup and partially hydrogenated oil. And this guy <clears> came, <throat> was standing like, you know, a few feet away. And he looked over me and he was like, he asked me something. Oh, he's like, how many calories does it have? I'm like, oh, uh, I don't know. I wasn't even looking at that. So I, I had to like glance up and I'm like, oh, I don't remember how many calories the garden all bars had because clearly I didn't care. And then he's like, oh, that's cool. I'm like, mm-hmm. I don't pay attention to calories. I just eat whatever I want most of the time. So, you know, instead of sharing your thoughts for a penny, penny for your thoughts, share them for free today. Um, but I'm pretty sure that's Oh, not free of charge. <laughs> free of like, boo, they didn't even want me to, and I'm, like, walking up telling them. I didn't know that's what it meant. No, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, okay. I almost guarantee you, like, free thoughts floating around in your head, or free thinking, like, just... Freedom of thinking. Freedom of having your own opinions kind of a thing. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it means. Offer your But thinking, my whole thoughts. entire basis of everything that we've talked about so far was in a, like, free of charge type of manner. <laughs> Share your thoughts today, free of charge, and your ideas. Yes, and let them flow freely through your brain. And, and out on of your that mouth. note, tell us about your free thoughts. Mm -hmm. Are they free or are they bound? Because if you share them with us, they're going to be free to us. Are um, they in bondage or are they free? 
Oh my goodness, <laughs> bondage. Um, thank you for watching. And share, comment, like, subscribe, and we love you. Be yeah, adventures. High five. Be in your cards. There's supposed to be a deck of 52 cards flying at you. Oh, didn't stop.